welcome to today's show of Toop TV. And today we run through some of the exciting new innovations that we're launching from Toop and Toop and our advertising department. And we'll go into detail to show how we're going to demonstrate and display your homes when you're selling. Then we go to SA's Finest, Coromandel East and Parkside, two wonderful properties. Toop's tips on smoke alarms and what's involved. And of course our going, going, gone section of all the properties that we're selling, a lot happening at the moment. And don't forget, we're live, we're interactive, so stay tuned. Yahoo! <laughs> interest rates coming down. Reserve Bank yesterday uh, held the interest rates. Um, they will have to come down, I can assure you, because we're out in the marketplace and it's pretty hard yards out there. But interesting to read in today's paper that rates are on the way down, irrespective of the Reserve Bank. So that's really good news for all of you out there that own property. Now on the show today, talking about what's happening right here and now in Adelaide, in Australia and in Adelaide, will be RP Data's um, Cameron Kusher. And I love talking to Cameron because he always has a great deal to offer and we love to grill him on what's actually happening and his forecasts. Now for the inside story though, on why more people are renting. Home ownership has always been the great Australian dream, but more people than ever before are waking up to the reality of renting. According to the Rams First Home Buyers Pulse report, only half of potential first home buyers are interested in purchasing a home, while one in five are looking at renting permanently. It's getting more expensive to buy a home, so a lot less people are able to buy and a lot more people are looking to rent, so it's just a supply versus demand. Probably a bit more demand for rental properties at the moment because there's less people that are able to buy properties. About 40,000 fewer first home buyers took the plunge into the residential market in the past year, where interest rates and a lack of buyer confidence have been blamed for this drop. For younger people, it's now also a lifestyle choice, where 20 and 30-somethings choose to rent so they can live in a nice area, have the option to easily pack up and go away, and have the landlord pay strata and maintenance fees. But if this trend continues, it will put more pressure on an already limited rental market, where the two and two vacancy rate currently sits at 1.1 and it's expected to get even tighter over the next two months. This also means the types of rental properties available may need to change to cater for tenants who are looking to set up more of a permanent residence in their rental home. 